in this Congress, which will uh, during which time we will observe the 100th anniversary of women having the right to vote, and the ERA is still not enshrined in the Constitution. As a result, women still face inequality under the law from the wage gap, from pregnancy discrimination, sexual harassment, and again, resulting in women being underrepresented at the table. With this resolution, we take a giant step toward equality for women, progress for families, and a stronger America, because we know that when women succeed, America succeeds. Our message here today is quite simple. We want in. We want in the Constitution of the United States of America. Tomorrow's vote on H.J. Res. 79, my resolution to facilitate ratification of the ERA, is a vote for equality. It's a vote for justice. It's a vote for sisterhood and motherhood, survival, dignity, and respect. 97 years we've been trying to get this in the Constitution of the United States, starting with Alice Paul. It's a vote for the American dream to be on the same footing as everyone else in order to pursue our great potential. It our vote is also a strong message that women in America are done. We are done being harassed, assaulted, and violated with impunity. We are done being paid less for the same work. We are done being discriminated against for our pregnancies. We are done being disparaged and demeaned by those who work daily to undermine the rights we have secured, including those who hold the highest office in the land. And make no mistake, the timing of this message and vote is crucial. It's no coincidence that we saw the ratification process start up again in earnest, beginning with Nevada in 2017. It's no accident that Virginia's legislature swept up in the pink wave in 2018 and now awash in blue ratified the ERA two weeks ago. But now one of the major obstacles has been removed, and that is the 38th state has, in fact, uh, ratified uh, the Equal Rights Amendment. We got one more obstacle to overcome for Congress to remove the deadline. After the House action, we need Leader McConnell to bring this to the floor of the United States Senate because we have the votes to pass the resolution to remove the time limit uh, on the Equal Rights Amendment. We just need to have a, a vote on the floor of the House of Representatives. It's bipartisan, always has been. Equality has always been bipartisan. <laughs> Tomorrow the House will pass a resolution to remove the arbitrary deadline of ratification for the Equal Rights Amendment. There should not be any time limit for doing the right thing. Doing so will provide more clarity that the ERI should become the 28th Amendment. It's long overdue, but as I said, never too late. And so, uh, as we go forward, uh, tomorrow will be a great day for America. I hope that we have the strongest possible bipartisan vote in the House that to take it over to the Senate. Uh, it's going to be, a, again, a more perfect union, as Mr. Hoyer said, of, again, reinforcing what we believe, that when women succeed, America succeeds. Thank you.